Hello students, welcome to Pi Academy, the place for mathematics and science. Dear student, please go through this demo class and share your opinion to my WhatsApp number 9964229344. Okay, let us begin the class. Before that, please get ready with the materials, a notebook, two pens, a pencil and scale. Are you ready? Okay, then let's move on to learning the today's chapter. Dear students, in today's class we are going to learn an important chapter in 9 standard mathematics. It is the number system. This is the chapter number 1. Let me go for writing the name of the chapter and before that let me tell you one thing please do remember. Whenever I go for asking you to copy, please go for writing. And second important thing is, whenever I start explaining about any concept, you should stop your writing and your complete focus should be on my explanation. Okay, take a notebook and a pen and write the name of the chapter. First, write chapter number one. Also write the name of the chapter. It is number system. Return. Okay. Listen to me. Dear students, you are very familiar with the concept called number. Right from the LKG class also, you have been learning about number then have you ever thought what is a number yes you know that but you do not know that you know now i i make you to recall the concept called number listen to me carefully i'll give you a simple situation assume that you are in a classroom you have plenty of friends also i'll go for asking you any one student that count how many students are there in one particular row then what you will do yes you go for you will go for counting how many students are there similarly i will ask you to count the number of things that are there in your classroom then also you go for doing the same thing that is you go for counting the things that you find in your classroom here you are using the concept called counting similarly the number the concept number it has also come in the same way hence we can say that number is a mathematical concept used for counting a number is a mathematical concept used for counting so now let's go for taking some more terms related to this chapter in the introductory part please go for copying with me Abiding introduction. In that, right, first one, it is number. What is a number? Just I told you, recall the definition. Number is a mathematical concept used for counting. Once I repeat, a number is a mathematical concept used for counting. I'll take some of the examples for numbers. If I ask you the number of students in your classroom, you may say that there are 30 students. Similarly, if I ask you how many students, sorry, how many days are there in a week, you say that there are 7 days. Then, if I ask you, <coughs> What about the salary of your parent? It will be different from one to one. Just I'll go for writing anyone. It is rupees 20,500 See, these are all numbers. Then you may be thinking that number means 
it will be like this 2020 21 9 then what are those if these are the numbers what are those now let me clarify that please listen and observe whatever i am going to write here i have written the numbers 30 7 and 20,564. To represent this, I go for using a symbol. 30 can be written like this. This is the symbol used for writing 30. 7 can be written like this. And 20,564. these are the symbols used for writing the numbers then what is called these symbols these are called yes this we call these are called numerals now you can recall the definition of numerals numerals are the symbols used for writing numbers numerals are the symbols used for writing numbers then just again observe these numerals i'll take the example again 20564 to write this numeral i have used some more symbols like 2 0 5 6 and 4 then what is called the symbols that are used to write a numeral these symbols are called digits got it digits are the symbols used for writing a numeral once i repeat digits are the symbols used for writing a numeral then could you recall how many digits are there in mathematics yes you are right there are 10 digits in mathematics how many are there 10 digits are there then what are these digits they are 0 1 2 3 and so on up to 9 but there is particular method of writing these digits and observe the method in which i go for writing them here 0 this is it should be vertical oval shape not like around like a circle one this is the way and two should be written like this on the not like this or uh, some will go for in a stylish way like this these are not acceptable three this is the way four four should be written like this it is internationally accepted symbol not like this not like this Five. Some will go for habit of writing five as yes. Avoid this. Six. Seven. Avoid writing seven like this. It is also not internationally accepted symbol. This is. Now eight. Nine. So these are the ten digits. Now. Just to go for copying from here. Already I copied about number, now numerals. No need to write the definition. Just copy whatever I have written on the board. Right? Numerals. Example. First example, thirty. Second example, seven. And third example. Twenty thousand five hundred and sixty-four. That's it. next. Come to third one. Digits. Written up. Okay. Now just below that, you write there are ten digits in mathematics. So I too will go for writing. There are ten. digits in mathematics 
they are go for writing them same method 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now let's move on to the further part of this chapter dear students we have already come across different types of numbers now we are going to recall them write with me side again different types of numbers different types of numbers then what are these let's go for writing one by one could you tell the numbers which we use for counting and from which number we start counting anything yes it is from 1 like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so on these are all numbers used for counting the numbers used for counting are the counting numbers are called natural numbers The counting numbers are called natural numbers. Please go on writing with me. The counting numbers are called natural numbers. Written up and write the examples with me. Examples are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Any big number can be written. All these are natural numbers. And if you go for taking the collection of these numbers, if you want to represent it as a collection, you go for writing two flower brackets like this. 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. You will end with the flower bracket. Then we call this as, this collection as a set of natural numbers. This set of natural numbers is denoted by the symbol capital N or the collection of natural numbers is denoted by the symbol N. Written up. Okay. Now stop writing again to start listening to me. Look at that. Second one. Before going to that, just observe the numbers what I am going to write. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. What are these? These are all natural numbers. Now I will go for including one of the Indian contribution to the field of mathematics that is 0. Now we have got a new collection. What it is called? It is called the set of whole numbers. The natural numbers including 0. Once I repeat, the natural numbers including 0 are called whole numbers. Please write with me. Whole numbers. Write the definition. The natural numbers including zero is called are called whole numbers. And the collection of whole numbers is denoted by the symbol capital W. Here you write the examples. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on.
observe the collection of whole numbers it includes whole numbers includes all the natural numbers hence we can say that all natural numbers are whole numbers all natural numbers are called whole numbers now let's move on to third again i go for writing the numbers keep observing 1 2 3 4 and so on what are these these are natural numbers and include zero then what is it these are whole numbers let me go for writing their negative zero doesn't have any negative so i'll go for writing it is negative 1 negative 2 Negative three and so on. See here we have written the whole numbers, including their negative, and this collection is known as the set of integers. Once I repeat, all the whole numbers, including their negatives, are called integers. Right. integers and write the definition with me the whole numbers including their negatives are called integers and you can also define like this the natural numbers and their negatives including zero are called integers <coughs> now the collection of integers is denoted by the symbol no doubt i even we will go for taking one more letter that is z then you all may be thinking that what i is okay but why z the letter z has been taken from a german word that is zalen that means to count it is a german word from this word we are taken the letter z now write down the examples minus 3 Dot 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 minus three minus two minus one zero one two three four and so on. Even this can also be written as zero. This is plus or minus one plus or minus two plus or minus three and. Write down a point. Write down the letter Z has been derived from the German word "zelen." The German word. means to count so that's it okay now let's move on to next one before going to that again you just observe see that integers include natural numbers hence you can say that natural numbers are integers then it includes whole numbers hence whole numbers are also integers therefore we can conclude that all natural numbers and whole numbers are integers now let's move on to fourth one observe this example 5 can we write 5 as 5 by 1 no doubt 
फाइव एज माइनस टेन बाय माइनस टू सर्टेन यू कैन आल्सो राइट इट एज फिफ्टी बाय टेन जस्ट ऑब्जर्व ऑल दिस द फाइव एज बीन एक्सप्रेस्ड इन डिफरेंट वेज एज a fraction in that fraction one term is in numerator and another one is in denominator and observe this numerator and denominator terms what do you say about these terms can you say that these terms as integers no doubt see the 5 1 minus 10 minus 2 50 and 10 all are integers and this number is in a particular form That is p by q, where assume that p and q are integers, and q is not equal to zero. Observe, if q becomes zero, what will happen? Suppose five, five by zero, it is undefined term in mathematics, and we write it as infinity. Now, any number which can be expressed in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 then it is called a rational number no copy first listen to me once i repeat a number which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is called a rational number now you write the definition with me rational number a number which can be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is called a rational number Once you go through the definition, a number which can be expressed in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero, is called a rational number. Let us go for taking the examples for rational numbers. Write down with me. Example. You can write zero. Zero is a rational number. Why? See that zero can be written as zero by one, even zero by ten, ten, zero by fifty. Zero by anything is zero, and zero is expressed in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero. Therefore, zero is a rational number. Then one is a rational number. One by two is a rational number. One by four is a rational number. And similarly, you can write minus two by three, minus ten by minus ten by seven, and so on. All these are rational numbers. <coughs> and the collection of these rational numbers is denoted by A symbol. The symbol is. It is Q. See that for natural numbers, we use the symbol Y. Whole numbers W. Integers I or Z. We came to know why it is. The rational number should it not be R? Why it is Q only? Let me tell you that. Suppose you go for dividing. A number by another number. What you will get? 
when you divide a number by another number you get the cosine and what is the first letter of the word quotient it is q hence we have taken the symbol q from the word called quotient please write this the letter q has been derived from from the word quotient the letter q has been derived from the word quotient and just go through the examples of rational numbers see the one is a natural number zero and one are <coughs> whole numbers even minus 1 minus 2 and so on they are all integers hence we can say that all natural numbers whole numbers and integers are rational numbers got it okay now we will move on to one more term here i will go for writing a number which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q like root 2 can it be expressed in the form of p by q of course you can say that so root 2 can be written as root 2 by 1 no doubt but do you say that root 2 is an integer no so if p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 then it is called rational if it is not then it is called irrational number got it a number which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 write down with me irrational number irrational number write the definition with me a number which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 it is called an irrational number and see that p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 this is the condition for rational if that if <coughs> if it does not obey then we can say that it is irrational number i go for taking some examples for irrational number write down this is root 2 root 3 2 root 3 then 7 by 2 root 5 minus 6 by 2 root 7 all these are some examples for irrational numbers then one more the last type of or uh, type of form number let me go for writing that observe it is 6 what here i'm right the numbers 1 2 3 and so on what are these natural numbers then what is it they are all whole numbers next minus 1 minus 3 and so on these are integers and right 3 by 4 7 by 5 
and so on. These are all rational numbers. Then root 2 minus 3 root 5, all these are these are irrational. So now you can just observe that here in this collection of numbers we have both rationals and irrational. So all together, the rational and irrational, all together, they are called real numbers. Right? All rationals, nothing but rational numbers, and irrational. are called real numbers and the real numbers collection of real numbers is denoted by the symbol capital R and take down these examples copy that Over. Now, let's move on to the next part of this chapter. Copy it. It's okay. In the next part of the, this chapter, we are going to learn about how to write the rational numbers between two rational numbers. Right. Side. So I did it. Worked examples. Worked examples. Now, before going to give you worked examples, just observe here. Can we call 0 as a rational number? No doubt. 1 is also a rational number. Between them, how many are there? See that I can go for writing 1 by 4, 1 by 2, 3 by 4. Again, in between 0 and 1 by 4, many rationals are there. 1 by 4 and 1 by 2, many rationals are there. Now, we are going to learn how to find out the number of rational numbers between two given rational numbers. Right, first one. Find Find rationals between one and two. Let me teach you how to find out that. Stop writing and observe the board. Here we are going to find out five rational numbers. And there is a method that if you want to find out five, go for adding one to that. Like, like 5 plus 1, 6. Why well, it should be written so? Let me tell you that. Here, 1 is there. Now, can we write 1 as 1 into 6 by 6? Certainly. Why? You can cancel 6 and 6, you will get 1, which is equal to 1. Now, multiply only numerator. 1 into 6? 6. six. Divided by 6. Then similarly, go for writing 2. 2 can be written as 2 into 6 by 6. Then 2 6 are 12. 12 by 6. Now, what is 6 by 6? It is 1. 12 by 6 is 2. Now, here, 6 by 6, then can we write 7 by 6, 8 by 6 and so on, up to 12 by 6. Now, we can write number of rationals between these two, 6 by 6 and 12 by 6, as 7 by 6, 8 by 6, 9 by 6, 10 by 6, 11 by 6. Therefore, the five rationals, five rationals 
between 1 and 2 are 7 by 6, 8 by 6, 9 by 6, 10 by 6 and 11 by 6. This is how we have to find out the number of rationals between two rationals. Let me go for giving you one more example. Before that, you just go for copy. Copy the same. 5 plus 1 that's equal to 6. Multiply to the numerator and denominator by 6 only. 1 equal to 1 into 6 by 6 that's equal to 6 by 6. Then 2 is equal to 2 into 6 by 6 which is equal to 2 6 are 12, 12 by 6. Between them, many are there, you can go for writing. 6 by 6, 7 by 6, 8 by 6 and so on, 12 by 6. Therefore, the 5 rationals are, that is 5 rationals between 1 and 2 are 7 by 6, 8 by 6, 9 by 6, 10 by 6 and 11 by 6. Now, let me give you second one. Right. Find. Again, five rationals between two and four. Between two and four, there is only one. But you are going to find out five rational. How to find out? And yes. <coughs> As you have already learned first one, second one, you can just go on writing with me. How do you write? You are going to find out 5 rationals. A, 5 plus 1, which is equal to 6. Then take the given numbers. That is first one, 2. It is 2 into, multiply 6 to the numerator and denominator. It will be 2, 6 are 12, 12 by 6. Then another one, 4. 4 into 6 by 6, it is 24 by 6. Because 4, 6 are 24 divided by 6. Then between 12 and 12 by 6 and 24 by 6. When you are there, let's go for writing. You can also write in this way as 12 by 6. Next one is 13 by 6, 14 by 6, 15 by 6, 7. 17 by 6, 19 by 6, 20 by 6, like that. So on, 24 by 6. But how many rationals we want? We want only 5. Therefore, the 5 rationals are the 5 rationals are right. 13 by 6, 14 by 6. 15 by 6, 16 by 6, and 17 by 6. I left that with the box. Let me go for taking one more example. Now, this time I am going to take a number which is in P by 2 form. Right. Find any six rationals. Third one. Find any six rationals between three by five and four by five. Now stop writing and observe the book. Here, how many rationals are going to be found out? 6. As I said earlier, so you go for adding 1 to it. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. And do remember, in case of 
these p by q form numbers if denominator terms are same go for the same method here on by 3 by 5 which is equal to again 3 by 5 into multiply 7 to the numerator and 7 to the denominator 3 7 are 21 5 7 are 35 next 4 by 5 it is equal to 4 by 5 into again 7 by 7 4 7 are 28 5 7 are 35 now see the denominator terms are same here numerator terms are different hence you can write 21 by 35 next 22 by 35 23 by 35 and so on 28 by 35 but we want 6 rationals hence we can write therefore the 6 rationals Ah, here I'm right. 22 by 35, 23 by 35, 24 by 35, 25 by 35, 26 by 35, and 27 by 35. This is how to find out rational numbers between two rationals if they are in the form of p by q now here the denominator terms are set so that we followed the previous method but if denominator terms are different how to solve solve them let me go for teaching you that before that just go for copying this problem then a minute only it should be copied as you are going to find out 6 rational numbers have 1 to 8, it will be 7, multiply 7 to the numerator and denominator of the given rational numbers. some of the rationals but the denominator terms will be different I am going to take one such example fourth one right find any six rationals between one by six and 5 by 25 1 by 6 and 5 by 21 have you copied then stop writing and observe the word here you are going to find out again 6 rationals between 2 rational numbers which are in the form of p by q and moreover the denominator terms are different in this situation first we have to find out the LCM of the denominator LCM of 6 and 21 is if you do not know how to write it directly you can go for this method 6 and 21 both can be divided by 3 3 2's are 3 7's are now further not they are not divisible by any number except 1 hence multiply directly 3 into 2 into 7 3 2's are 6 6 7's are 42 so 42 is the LCM 42 now here let us go for writing the first rational 1 by 6 now we have to write its equivalent fraction such that in the denominator of that equivalent fraction 42 should be there here I'll write 42 1 by let us write 1 by 6 as it is 
Now, what should be multiplied with 6 to get 42? 6, 7, 42. Multiply, same. Understood? If you do not know, very simple method is 1 by 6 into 40. 6 1s are 6 7s are. Now, 7 1s are 7. Here are 5. I'll go for the next one. 5 by 21. It's equal to, again, you can go for writing 5 by 21 into 42. 21 1s are 21. 2s are. Here are 5. 5 by 21 multiply this 2 to the numerator and denominator. It's equal to what is 5 twos are 10. Then 21 twos are 42. Here we have 7 by 42, 10 by 42. How many are there between them? 8 by 42, 9 by 42. But how many we want? We want total 6 rationals. Hence, I go for multiplying any number to the numerator and denominator. It is, I'll take 10. It will be simple one. Sim simple one for uh, simplifying. Here, multiply 10 to the numerator and 10 to the denominator. Now, 7 into 10, 7. 42 into 10, it is 420. Similarly, here also, multiply 10 to the numerator and denominator. 10 tens are 100, then 42 tens are 420. Now, observe, these two fractions are, or rationals are equivalent to these two. Between them, how many are there? 71 by 420, 72 by 420, like that. Many are there, but... We want only 6. Here are my 70 by 420, 71 by 420, 72 by 420 and so on. 100 by 420. Conclusion. Therefore, the 6 rationals between 1 by 6 and 5 by 21 are, you can write 71 by 420, 72 by 42, 73 by 420, 74 by 420, 75 by 420 and 76 by 420. Just they have asked only 6 rationals. We have written 6 rational numbers between given rational numbers. Okay. Please go for copying this. First take the LCM of the denominator because the denominator terms are different. LCM of 6 and 21 is 42. And find out the equivalent fraction of the given number 1 by 6. It is very easier uh, to find out the equivalent fraction such that the denominator should contain 42. This is the method you can go for 1 by 6 into 42. Cancel 6 1 sir, 6 7 sir. So multiply 7 to the numerator and denominator. Okay. You will get 7 by 42. Then go for writing second one 5 by 21 that is equal to again 5 by 21 into 42. Then 21 ones are 21, twos are multiply 2 to the numerator and denominator. Now 5 twos are 10, 21 twos are 42. Between these two only two are available. Hence you go for multiplying 10 to the numerator and denominator in both the fractions or rational number 7 tens are 70 42 tens are 420 10 tens are 100 42 tens are 420 now between these two many are there you can copy this 70 by 
420 71 by 420 72 by 420 and so R 100 by 420 therefore the six rationals between 1 by 6 and 5 by 21 are 71 by 420 72 by 420 73 by 420 74 by 420 75 by 420 and 76 by 420 now before going to stop the class just we shall recall the concept what we have learned so far in the introductory part we have got some information about a number numeral and digits then after that we come across different types of numbers like natural numbers whole numbers integers rationals irrationals and real numbers among these there is a chance of asking definition of a rational number please learn that practice that as many times as possible then after that we learned how to find out rational numbers between two rational numbers and we have solved nearly four problems please do practice them it is also one of the important type of problem to be asked in the examination so with this let us stop Thank you.